Hello, family and friends all over the world. I hope and pray that everyone is doing well on today. I just want to bring you along to Sharon Johnson Art. Today, I will be doing an oil painting. I have the titanium white, the lemon yellow, the uh, green medium, Corbin black, two picks, cattle medium green hue, ultramarine blue. I have the Fathello blue, burnt umber, scarlet red, burnt sienna, green, light green, raw umber, permanent purple, orange, turpentine, my brushes, they're all different sizes. I might not use but maybe a few of them. I might not use all the paint, but I'll use most of them. I have my pencils because I will be doing a drawing <clears throat> on this um, printing paper. And what I will do, I will uh, sketch it on the canvas, the drawing that I will be doing. Don't forget to subscribe to Sharon Johnson Art. Also, hit the like button. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think about my painting. Come along and enjoy Sharon Johnson Art and paint with Sharon Johnson Art. my paper that I'll be doing my drawing on I have some pieces that I want to show you I'm gonna be using this as my reference it's my little Christmas ornaments it's not Christmas this is the month of February it's February the 3rd my grandson's birthday. Happy birthday to Hasius. Anyway, I'm going to use this as my reference and this as my reference as well. See the little drum set? The little drum and a gift and the pine cones and the little leaves and the hollyberry and the bell and a uh, a leaf that look like snowflakes is on it. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. That's going to be my reference. This is the bell. So I'm going to do something like, draw something like this. It might not be exactly like it, but it's going to be similar to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean all this glitter up because I have glitter all over the paper. I don't know if you can see it. I know the shadow is right here, which is my iPod and my um, my uh, lights that's shining on my paper. The shadow is so. Yeah, I'm gonna clear clean this up, and then begin my drawing. In this video, I would not be doing a lot of talking. I will be doing more of drawing and painting on my canvas. Don't forget to subscribe to Sharon Johnson Art.
Okay, the canvas that you see in front of you is a 12 by 12. It is a Artist Canvas Classic Collection. It's uh, also by Master Touch Fine Art Studio. I did purchase this canvas at Hobby Lobby. Now that I color the back of my paper, I color the back of it. All I did was take my pencil and just shade the back of it. Now I'm going to place it in the center of my canvas. And I will begin tracing my picture onto the canvas. Make sure it's centered, which I know is not going to be exactly centered. But I'm going to try to get it there. Let's begin. Now that I have finished tracing my picture onto my canvas, let's see what it looks like. You can just barely see it. I'm going to trace it around here a little bit more. Yeah, you can just barely see it. I want to make sure that I can see it when I get ready to start painting. Okay, you can just barely see it. I'm going to try to zoom in a little closer. You can see just a little fine print. Just a little fine print. I know the shadow is not doing no adjustment, but you can see it's just a little fine print. There we go. Okay. Let me zoom back out. All right. Now I'm going to begin to paint a beautiful picture. Okay, I'm almost finished drawing this because what I had to do is draw without the paper on top of it because when I did, when I first put the paper on it and I drew, I traced it and once I traced it, uh, you could just barely see the picture. So I decided to just take the paper off and just kind of go over the mark where I had marked it at. But you can just barely, barely see it. So I decided to use my imagination of how I really sketched it on the paper for me to put it on the canvas. See what I did? So I added some little berries, hopefully you can see it, I added some little berries at the bottom and I might add a few more but then again it could be enough right there. Um, now I am ready to start painting this lovely picture. So come along 
and create art with Sharon Johnson. This would be the color of my background. I would make it a little gray, like a light, light gray for my background because it is called winter season. And I want the background to look like it's a little snowy in the background. So I'm going to use the Corbin black and the white titanium. I'm going to mix these colors together and I'm going to make the make it a gray color but I want it to be real light gray. Before I begin painting, I would like to tell you about the turpentine. The turpentine, it says odorless paint thinner, but if I were you, I would use some gloves, or if you don't want to use gloves, that's fine. I'm used to painting without gloves, but when you're using turpentine, please be careful. I pour a little bit in my jar. It's just a little pickle jar. So pour a little bit of turpentine in your jar. Make sure you do not use this around children or animals. Make sure you keep it high up or put away, store somewhere, or put it in a safe place where nobody can get hold to the turpentine. Also your paint as well. Because kids sub to go into your cabinets or drawers and then they realize oh I got paint I have paint I can I can draw with or paint with or something so make sure this is not in the kids way I am mixing black and white to give me a gray color I want a real light gray, not a whole lot of black. I will use a bigger paintbrush. As soon as I finish mixing my colors, I'll be right back with you. I finished painting the background gray so now I'm going to start painting the hollow berries I am going to use the scarlet red and the burnt umber hopefully you can see that I am going to use those two colors for my hollow berry I forgot to mention earlier in my video 
make sure you have a window or the door open when you're using turpentine and any type of paint. Make sure that all the windows are open or have some kind of uh, ventilation where you won't smell this uh, paint and turpentine.
Okay, I am going to give it a little shadow around the edges. I have my toothpick. I'm just going to add a little shadow around the edges. There's my paintbrush. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. I'm just going to add just a little shadow around the edges. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Thank mm -hmm. you. 